in Stonington. We're in the borough of Stonington and we're going to buy scallops. So this is a little place, what is it called? Bloomsters? Boomster. Boomster. They have two big boats and they scallop and they sell and they're on the Anna system here. And they have these little coolers and freezers out front and you just pick whatever you want and put the money in the box. It's one of my favorite places when I come visit. <laughs> What do they have today? And here, right. here's one of the owners. Oh, the owner. Yes, I am the owner, yes. See that? This is my favorite seafood shop ever. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> I don't get scallops in Oregon, so I really love oh, coming Oh, from Oregon? Yeah. And we had to come over here and get scallops. You know, do you know that, I want to say back in the early 80s, scallop business was collapsing collapsing on the east coast. A bunch of boats left here from New Bedford, Cape mm -hmm. May, mm -hmm. went down through the canal and then went up they went up to Alaska. Mm -hmm. On the way they stopped at Coos Bay, Oregon. I know the place. And they found a few oh. scallops there. Bay scallops. We've got some smaller ones. Yeah, no, they found some seas in the Maybe ocean. Right? Yeah, yeah. And it was only a small streak. I guess the edge is very sharp there. In other words, you go east to here, it goes out for a long, long time. Uh, my boat was out on George's Bank, which is a couple hundred miles east here. Oh, yeah, yeah. And out there, it's very, it's not, it's very Just short. Off, and it's yeah. not like here, you don't have, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not exactly sure how far it is. They did find a streak of scallops right there. Oh, interesting. But they're not the same as these, those are the Pacific Queens, you know, which are. What are these? These are our uh, Mid Atlantic scallops. Mid Atlantic? Yes. Mid these are. Excuse my Latin now. Pactus megalonus. <laughs> the other place they catch them, these, is exact. They're not. In, they're not in the Pacific at all. It's down off Argentina. Well, and the name of them the they take on the Strait of Magellan. How is they have them in the Argentina. Same species. Now. Same species. But in between, like from Hatteras down to there, they aren't, they aren't there. Oh, interesting. They're just here from like north of Hatteras up to, you know, up to Canada, up the Canadian line. Yeah. How long is the scallop season and when, when we is get, that? I own two scallop boats, two 95 footers. I know you have two big ones. I and know. each March 1st, this year we got 50 days to fish. Mm. That's what we had this year. So you have from March 1st to March 1st to use 100 days. So mm. how long is the season? We try to fish them when the fishing's the best, which is in March, April, May, June, July, August. When you start to get to September, they start to spawn. When they spawn, they lose 25 or 30 percent of their size. Oh wow! So we try to try to actually. I, my boat just came in Sunday morning. He's leaving next Tuesday. Mm -hmm. He's got 11 more days to fish, and that's it until after Christmas. This last trip, he was 175 miles east southeast here mm -hmm. on the southwest part of George's Bay. Mm -hmm. And they go there, and then they wherever when they start towing, and they go wherever they go. This is the honor system here. <laughs> I love it. It's and my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is what we oh, do. That's so great. And was your father a fisherman? Yes. Yeah. I remember his father, and I remember his mother. Yes, uh, yes. Oh, yes. Bob's is still around. Your father is still. Yes. Does he still live over here? Yes, he does. And he yes, still lives in that house. Uh, yeah, he's getting room. on. He's 82. Now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not an easy living so that's today. that's why I got the old ice pack. I went back here. Uh, <laughs> 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 what happens? Well, you Ladies, have been great. I'm Thank so happy to meet you. Much. So Thank great. you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Have a good one. I will. How are you this afternoon, ma'am? I'm fine. Thank you. My father had a lobster boat. And in our kitchen, we had a hook behind the stove. And we made these macrame funnels for the lobster cages. And he would take them up, out back, dip them in a tar, hang them up to dry, and then put them in the, um, the lobster pots. And that's what that's what he lobstered with. But the pots at that time were wood. Today they are metal. Wow, that's fantastic. This is where I got the painting. Mm-hmm. I remember that little shop. 
well-known restaurant in Stonington. And the owner who owns this building decided that he was going to make a change. Ainsley Turner that ran this when her contract for this rental ran out, they didn't renew it. And they got someone from up in New York State to start a new restaurant. It lasted only one year. Now rent to Kadama from the steak loft. And he's doing a wonderful job. And good that's good food, um, interesting menu, not too much, just enough, and a, and a decent price. to go in and look around? I would love to. The door is open. I didn't realize it was open. Yay, Louise! <laughs> First time there. Yes! <laughs> I'm getting pins and needles in my toes. Oh, look how beautiful this is. I've never been up here. What a spectacular view. Is this, would Glenn be loving this? He would love it. You know, see, these these are the things that I remember, <laughs> not what you're seeing today. <laughs> it is a huge difference in our area. It has changed dramatically over the last 50 years. I bet.